This is Casey here with AMI Radio. Here to visit with Michael Coleman. We are at the Truck Festival in Sarasota, and as I understand, we're going to be bringing the, uh, the same concept to Pine Avenue this January. That's right, Anna Maria Pine Avenue Truck Festival. I first got interested in the idea for Pine Avenue probably four years ago. Anna Maria is worth uh, some extra effort. There's a lot of hidden art in Anna Maria. We want to get people to understand that there's a lot of talent on the island, and we think a way to do that is to showcase a street art fair and uh, bring in people who will also meet the people who are there already. We, uh, we woke up one day after all of our collaborative eth efforts at Green Initiatives and so forth, and we got dubbed a couple years back the greenest little main street in America. It's, it's all part of, I call it the puzzle box theory, uh, having a, a big picture in mind about where you want to end up and what you want to be doing. Uh, one day we woke up and found ourselves on the leading edge of a worldwide transition movement in which individuals and neighbors and neighborhoods take into their own hands the uh, cultural, economic, and environmental destiny of their communities. And so we just want to declare who we are, and who we are is a cultural community. And Chalk Festival uh, obviously fits that. For me, what I've learned is, as, uh, as I've been pursuing this, is the great contribution that the artists make. They come and they literally sweat on the street for not much, if any, uh, compensation. We want to show them that they're appreciated. This is a way of appreciating art and appreciating artists. Everything costs money. We're, we're fortunate to have some generous benefactors that are helping us kick this one off. There's a significant budget in bringing people from around the country and internationally to put on an event that lasts for two solid days and all the uh, facilities that are necessary to support that properly so that the artists are fully supported and appreciated, so that the visitors have a good, positive experience, so that the city is not overly impacted by those visitors. We're, we're open to sponsorship. Uh, donations appreciated. We're always thinking of things that fit into the, the puzzle box, which is Greenest Little Main Street is not just a, a theme, it's a result of a way of thinking. Denise Kowal, founder and chairman of the Sarasota Chalk Festival. We're here to talk about the first annual Chalk Festival on Pine Avenue. I believe that Pine Avenue is going to be an ideal spot for a festival. Obviously it's going to have to be very precise in the planning because it is an island so there's only so many people that can get out to it and that kind of adds to the mystique of it and the pleasure of it for the artists. It will be a much more intimate event. We're bringing in you know between 20 and 25 professional artists so the quality of the artwork right off the bat your first year you're going to have incredible talent there. It's going to be supplemented, of course, with artists that maybe are just beginning or a few, you know, have only been chalking for a few years local. So there will be a real big diversity of art at the event. I think the artists really enjoy the island. I mean, what's there not to like about Anna Maria Island? Mm -hmm. One side, you got the beautiful beaches, and on the other, you're looking at the skyline of Tampa and the bridge. Sure. Can you talk to us about the theme for Pine Avenue? From pirates to present. Anybody that's willing to put themselves out there it, for the public, when you take an idea from your mind and you, you actually bring it into the present so people can see that creative process happen, it's really a, a magical thing for people. Generally, you just go to a gallery and you see the finished products and you don't get to see really the whole um, you know, aspects that go into it. You don't get to see the materials or how they're sitting or their techniques and styles. And at this event, you really get to see all that happen. And uh, it's something really magical to be able to see something literally from a street surface turn into a painting that, you know, anybody would hang on their wall and pay thousands and thousands of dollars for it. You're going to love it. All right, Denise Cole and Michael Coleman introduced the first annual Anna Maria Chuck Festival, January 18th and 19th, 2014. If you'd like more information, contact Michael Coleman at coleman at pineavenueinfo.com.